You know, Vera, I've been so moved by my time here at camp. I wonder if I could perhaps say grace tonight. Oh, that'd be lovely, Lois. Well, I'd like to begin with a moment of silence. A fully counted out Mississippi 60-second moment of silence. And the first one to open their eyes is gay. Psst, up here. My eyes are open too. The car and pretend to drive? Like, like I had to pretend to be impressed by Quagmire's new big green grill? This is the largest high performance ceramic cooker available, Peter. NSF certified. Ah, oh, yeah, cool. I'm starving. When do we, when do we fire this thing up? <laughs> Fire this thing up? Get a lot of this guy. You don't just fire it up. You slowly bring it to temperature. <sighs> okay. When do we put the burgers on? B burgers? Are you hearing this? You don't put burgers on a grill of this quality, Peter. I've been brining a heritage breed chicken for three days. <sighs> then can we put that on? Yes, at midnight when it's reached temperature. Then why am I here now? Because I need your help to move the grill a single inch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's just listen to music on my high-end stereo system. Nice. Let's crank it. <laughs> crank it? You hear this, clown? I only use it to listen to podcasts. Today on The Moth, how a single pair of shoes reunited two sisters. Lois, Lois, lock the door. Why? It's that lady who comes in, tries a sample, and then whispers about how bad she is. Hey! Oh, my God, you have chocolate macadamia nut. Oh, could I just try a little sample? Oh, I'm so bad. Uh, sure. You gonna buy a cookie this time? Oh, I better just stick with the sample. I'm so bad. But at least I know I'm bad, so that makes me a little less bad. Or worse. <laughs> that was the right thing to do, Peter. Excuse me, sir. This is private property. What are you doing? <sighs> Just taking it all in. You're staring at my daughter's bedroom. She's really grown into her body. This is gonna be a fun summer for her. I haven't been this embarrassed since I was a rookie firefighter. <laughs> Sorry, first day, still learning. I'm so hungry! Let me out! I tell you what, first guy that lets me out gets his own spinoff. Not you, Cleveland. Sorry, Peter, this is for your own good. Yeah, you told us you would do anything to lose weight. I lied! I just want to be free! Like a recently divorced man with no kids! This is nice. This is better. Okay, guys, this is the original Levi Jeans Factory, created by Levi Strauss in the year 1853 so that gold miners could wear a comfortable yet durable fabric. This is boring. Well, then you plan the vacation! <laughs> Peter, Peter, calm down. It, it's okay. We'll, we'll do whatever you want. All right, if you promise. I was thinking we could tuck our shirts into our pants, put on huge helmets, and ride segways. We're not from here! We're not from here! You guys, look! It's Golden State Warriors star, Steph Curry! Oh my god, Steph, I'm such a big fan! Thanks, it's nice to meet you. Hey, I know we just met, but can I sit on your lap during your next post-game press conference? Sure, I'm gonna see why not. This is exciting for the whole Bay Area to be just four games away from the championship. Dad, I duked. The other team's not just gonna go away, though. We've gotta stay focused, keep doing what we've been doing. Fat lady! Dad! Dad, a fat lady! Yeah, I, I see her, Peter. Make her go. That's not how we talk to people. Make her go! I'll leave. Yay! I'm learning bad lessons. If this works out, I could make more money than when I had that rat farm in the basement. Armando, do you have the rent? We're trying, Senor Griffin. But the land, she gives us nothing. There is no sunlight. It's been two months, Armando. You're putting me in a real awkward position here. Oh, please, Senor Griffin. Just one more week. I will pay you double. Perhaps we can work out another arrangement. Oh, please, senor, not my beloved. Armando, Armando, it is for the children. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, mio. Yes, I... yes. Besides, Wild West would make a great mayor. He's a man. 
What does that have to do with anything? Because this is America, Lois. Men have always run things, and there have never been any problems whatsoever. And don't say the economy or Iraq or income inequality or racism or Brett Kavanaugh or air pollution or Vietnam or slavery or Watergate or capitalism or Me Too or homelessness or police brutality or homophobia or Monica Lewinsky or school shootings or Native American genocide or Fox News or Tim Allen or climate change. Wow, Joe, these are pretty cool. Yeah, they're not as heavy as I thought they'd be. Yeah, we can live stream the footage on my iPad. How do we talk when they're on? Like, different? No, Peter, use your normal speaking voice. All right, let's hit it. Hang on, guys, I'm just going to say goodbye to Lois. Where the hell do you think you're going? I told you, I'm going to the clam with the guys. Oh, surprise, surprise. Another night out with the losers. Losers? Name five things wrong with each of them. With pleasure. Lois sends her love. Come on, let's go. What does she mean, can't eat an ear of corn? I can't help it if my adult teeth never came in. She says I call Steinfeld Steinfeld? Of course I do. That's his name. Jerry Steinfeld. Pardon me, to quote his famous bit. She says I say everybody weird. I say everybody just like everybody else does. Oh, God, it's so hot. Uh, Brian, spit on me. Oh, that's nice. Now tell me I'm scum. How will that cool you off? Hmm? Hey, could you have your guy hit two? I gotta get down to the business center to print out my boarding pass. Oh, hey, that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> that's from a movie. So are you girls traveling with your dad here? Hey, don't kick him, muddy shoes. He's got a white suit on. Hey, look, I don't know if you guys are really staying here, but you can't get into the pool without a room key. Lois, get in here! Meg's boyfriend. What? There's, there's nothing wrong with him. Mom, where is my... Shh. <gasps> Quagmire, get over here. You gotta see this. He seems to be completely normal. Oh. I can honestly say for the first time that I am attracted to our daughter. This must be what other fathers feel like. Lois? What? Oh, hey, how do you like my blowout? I'm pulling down so much charge, it's insane. I don't... Uh, I'm... Yuck. Lois? <gasps> oh, no. I'm alone and lost in the mall. I haven't been this scared since the silence of the lamb. Hey, um... Let's move in together. Say something! I turn around, and I don't know what happened to my wife, and now I'm all alone, and I'm just so scared. Okay. Do you want to go look for your wife, or you want me to finish the makeover? I guess we might as well finish up here. When I find her, I want her to go, wow. Lois! 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 Is your wife named Lois, too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 Anyway, let me put in my card. I got one with a chip on it. It's like we're living in the Star Wars. Okay, tip. I'll do cash. Good, you heard me. Would you like to donate a cup of coffee to a soldier overseas? Yeah, that seems like a good cause. Hey, here's your free cup of coffee from a lady in Rhode Island. What? I don't even have to get on a plane. I always have trouble at the airport. Sir, you're not allowed to be on the carousel. Well, and maybe you shouldn't have named it such a fun word. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, I'm not yours. He's stealing me! I'm being stolen! Excuse me, I think you've got mine. Oh, that's a good idea. Meg, you need to know that you matter. Really? No one's ever told me I mattered before. That's why you have to say it. So say it. I matter. Louder! I matter! Shut up, Meg. You don't matter. Oh, sorry to interrupt. I just came to clear the search history off my computer before the IT guy... Oh, he's already got it. Boy, you're really all in on Asa Akira. Way off, pal. This is the only place I can masturbate. Where's Dad? It's office birthdays today at the brewery. Ever since your father was put in charge, he's been taking it very seriously. Okay, Brian, what do you got for me? 
Okay, birthday jokes. We may be colleagues, but there's no one in your league. Boy, that's a brick off the backboard. Chris, what do you got? I drove the family to Disneyland for vacation, and when we got off the highway, the sign said Disneyland left. So we drove back home. Chris, that's going in the show. See that, Brian? Don't be afraid to pull the heartstrings. Peter, don't you think you might be putting too much time into office birthdays and not enough into your job? Come on, Lois. It's the one thing I look forward to at work. It's the one thing I'm good at. I am to birthdays what J.K. Rowling is to now problematic wizard stories. Perhaps Slytherin, or maybe Hufflepuff, uh, or trans women aren't really women. Wait, what? I mean, uh, the first two things. Okay, who's the next girl or boy? There's only those two.